The Napkin, the birthplace of many creative ideas. Computer-aided design is the ultimate napkin. The Solarola Napkin series will discuss the engineering behind projects in various levels of completion. From concept sketches to current builds, projects already delivered to clients, and even off-grid projects on the Solarola property. Welcome to the Napkin series. All right, today we're going to be talking about the Tesla tail. So although we're calling this uh, hitch-mounted um, power system a Tesla tail, it can be used on any vehicle, including gas vehicles. So it's bringing your power with you. So let's check it out. Okay, you can see the parts coming together there. First, we have the battery coming in. Um, we have some of the Reese hitch parts. Um, and then here comes the panels um, with their little wheels and a crank. So notice that crank can be swapped out for like a, um, a driver to really amp up the rate at which you bring your panels out. So we've got a thousand watts on there right now. We just used a hundred watt um, thin film panels because we have a set of those. So we may make our, our prototype out of that. Um, but yeah, it goes back about 15 feet. Check it out. All right, so as those panels come out, we have some small supports that will be giving it a little bit of rigidity. Note the um, scissors mechanism. So that's the key here to keep the, the panels in a rigid form and easily deploy them. So it's always a question about deployment. We could always just lay a bunch of panels out on the ground, but um, the time it takes and the complexity and the potential for um, ruining something is pretty high. So we're going to I'll always be trying to um, get that deployment in as quickly and as rigidly as a result of having to deal with winds and different forces of nature. Get that done as, like I say, efficiently, quickly as possible. So you will notice that we are going to the rear of the vehicle. So we've been doing this solar-powered vehicle thing for a while now. And when you're stopped, it's great to put out your awnings, but... Um, there's not always space for that. However, there seems to always be space behind the vehicle, whether you're parked alongside the road, um, should you have a driveway, or even where you're parking on the street, or you are, say, at a wayside, or um, basically anywhere where, guess what, you're a trailer. It's a trailer, okay? Cars pull trailers. So that is your sacred space behind your vehicle. That is your space to put your panels out. Um, yeah, so... That's where we've kind of um, arrived, is at pushing it out the back. And then also, who wants to pull a trailer if you don't have to? So it's a trailer, but it's also obviously when you, this, when you see this thing come back up, it, uh, it jumps back up on the Reese hitch and there isn't anything touching the ground. So we'll keep it light and we'll keep the deployment fast. And like I said, while this one is about 1,000 watts, we have the real estate there to do 2,000 watts. And then the 2,000 watts is going to get us upwards 50 miles of range in this Model S. Now, once again, um, for this to be as efficient as it could be as a, an EV charger, we would need an MPPT controller that is um, designed to fit right into the Tesla plug and provide the necessary communications between um, the charge of the solar panels and the, and the automobile. Because solar panels um, vary in their power output as a result of times of day and clouds and such, um, the vehicle is going to need to have something that um, makes it aware of that since um, any kind of variability from grid charging would cause a problem. So as you can see in this uh, particular um, design, we do have a battery inverter system. So that's, that's kind of a no-brainer. And that lets us um, utilize this power system for other vehicles as well. But um, we still will be considering talking with Tesla and getting something going. I just did see a company called Intelligent that is working on the problem. So we might be able to find something out there, but as of yet, nothing really convincing and available. Thank you.